Ouh là là. Ouh là là. Too early for this shit, chat. Too early for this shit. I only just started. I. God damn it, Basilis, what are you doing? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ugh, fine, fine, fine. You want to do that? Fine. Ugh. Thank you very much, Anexian, for resubscribing two months. Congratulations and welcome. Can, uh, thank you very much for the uh, subscription, Basilis. 74 months. Woo. Thank you. <clears throat> then you start a hype train. Thank you for the 300 bits and then the 300 bits again, Basilis. Happy day. So, 
You're blowing your load early, is it? Will, I'm just sitting here eating my lunch. No, no, no. You're eating your breakfast because I refuse to accept that anybody gets up earlier than like right now on a Saturday, okay? Don't look too happy. Oh, well. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, damn, I forgot to put the spice in the coffee today. Well, what am I going to do? You have been up since 8? That's, uh... I suppose being up since 8 o'clock in the morning is effectively, um... Occupational hazard. Whenever you, like, have a, have a job where you have to wake up at the crack of dawn. You just keep doing that on the weekend. I know that I did that after, uh, for a while after I got out of, uh, school. Like, I continued to wake up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> Greetings to everyone. How are you all doing? Pre breakfast time? Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, so, some, someone reasonable. Hello, Taro. Wel welcome to the stream. It's close to noon. That means it is still morning. Exactly. Exactly. It's 12.08, which means it's still morning for me. I don't care what anybody says. I got myself an egg sandwich here. It's an egg sandwich with provolone cheese. Been up since four, but not by choice. That's right. You were talking about, um, uh, what you call it? Insomnia. That's the word. I'm in EST, it's one o'clock. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, that's drippy. That's drippy. Hello, Momo. I mean, do you have a favorite cheese? Provolone is right up there, but man... I don't know. Gouda's pretty amazing. Swiss? Swiss is one of the few cheeses that I can't stand. And I wish I understood. Man, Colby. Colby Jack? Mm. Please don't eat it in the microphone. Sorry about that. Didn't know I was so close to it. I try to get this done before I actually start streaming. I, I, I apologize. Man. Hopefully nothing's getting picked up this time. In fact, I, I, I could probably move that further away and still be perfectly fine. <clears throat> it's a pretty good microphone. How about those really old cheeses that are basically mold? Um, it, oh my god. La la. We had like 30 seconds to go and... Ooh la la. Momo. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh la I'm, la. I'm not here to make your day peaceful. The fuck, Momo? The fuck? <laughs> Thank you very much for gifting five subs to uh, Beastly Four, Vesper Valorian, uh, Calaraven, Nipty, and... Lego Rob Boy. Enjoy the subscriptions. I hope that you enjoy them. Momo is 100%, 108% Team Chaos. God. 
Last couple of bites, but not too much longer, and then we'll get into the game. Oh, we. It's a little bit quiet in here. Let me play some music. I show up late and there's a hype train. What did I miss? I don't know, man. Things seem to be starting off like way too strong today. Way too strong. For grocery store coffee, that's not too bad. How does a kebab pita with pickle, red cabbage, tomato, corn, carrot, and herb dressing? That sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds pretty good. What's with the music? I was just a little bit quiet in here. I thought I'd put something on. Admittedly, I didn't really know what file I clicked on for it, though, so... Okay. Okay. Anexion. I will... I will address your question about these uh, these tidies on the wall, as you phrased it. Here, you know what? I'll get them down and show you a, a close-up of them. Because why not? So, over the years, since I've been doing this for so long, Over the years, since I've been doing this for so long, um, chat got me to set up initially an Amazon wish list. Now it's a throne wish list. If you want, you can uh, type in exclamation throne. That list has exploded in volume recently because there were a lot of suggestions for gifts. But at some point, it became a thing to get me to cross-dress. Basically putting on any amount of women's clothing. It started, I think, with a schoolgirl outfit. And eventually it turned into just buying me panties. Okay? So, I have been gifted so many panties over the years that I had to figure out what to do with them. <clears throat> hey, hype train success. There you go. Not bad. Thank you very much to everybody who contributed to that. Um, but in any case, I was, I was, I've, I've been gifted these things over and over throughout the years. Ooh and what's la resulted la. is that, um, golly, that's a lot of activity here at the top of the day. So I had to figure out what to do with them. And I realized, you know what, this whole channel point thing, I'll let you guys, I'm, I'll hang a pair up on the wall. And for X amount of channel points, you can swap them out for something that I've already got. So. This is the pair that's been placed up there. I, th I believe specifically because this has a lot of lace. And it's like the only thing with lace that I have. So. <clears throat> that is the entire backstory there. <clears throat> but that's not all. There, but wait, there's more. Um, as a financial incentive, if anybody drops a hundo on the channel, you can 
uh, you can get me to take whatever I'm currently wearing and put it up on the wall instead, okay? Or, <clears throat> because I have been, uh, because so many costumes have been purchased for me, you can tell me to change what I'm wearing to one of the costumes I've had uh, purchased for me in the past. <clears throat> um, it'll be like just a quick change. It will not be like a full out, oh, I'm going to like put the wig on and the makeup and all that type of stuff. No, it will just be the dress as it were, because that's mostly what it is. How many people have given a hundo? Oh my god. Um, I've been doing this for so long that there are some... I've got at least one person who my understanding is they are they are currently in an executive position and they dropped six hundo in like a single stream. So the rule is I'll only swap it once per stream, okay? Um... And hundos have happened. Hundos have happened. So, like, I will go months on end without one, and then sometimes I will just get, like, one every month for, like, four months in a row sometimes, you know? Okay, Storm Mage, you just redeemed swap wall pants. To demonstrate the point, um, name a... You've, you've, got a, you've got a choice to make. Oh, my God. We're <laughs> getting a flag change as well. <laughs> Like an old telev television evangelist. And we've also got an old television evangelist for Redeem Accent. Oh my god. My god! You guys are doing everything at once. I haven't even started playing the game yet. <clears throat> Alright, Storm Mage, you're telling me to roll the dice. Well, we can do that. I can do that. Let me get the dice tray. I just need to take these freaking headphones off and leave them off for a bit. Jeez. Mm, not those. Not those. Here we go. That's the metal dice. Okay, you. Okay. Let's see if I can angle the camera just so that you can see into the dice tray. Here we go. That'll do the job. Highlight my S word? Yes, um, so it is possible for someone to... You you get me to say a word that starts with the letter S. Obviously, it's an innuendo for the fact that, you know, there's the swear shit, you know. Oh, he said the S word. So, yeah, you can, you can make me say an S word. That's the whole joke. And um, I have a persona who runs uh, a company called Strife Solutions. <clears throat> it's my Minecraft persona. Anyways, okay. This is a D20. Let's see what we get. That looks like a 14. Looks like a 14 to me. Yep, that is a 14. No question about it. How close to the camera can I get with that? Focus. Focus. No? Nothing? Well, okay. It's a 14 nonetheless. <clears throat> I love those dice. These are these are pretty nice dice. Not gonna lie, they are they are pretty nice. This is these these are pretty nice dice. They're made of metal. I think they're uh chrome or something. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oop. <coughs> okay, so with that done. All right, so that was a 14 that we rolled. Um, you left the danger dice out. <laughs> yes. Yes, those are, that is, ap like, Lego's got nothing on a D4, man. Lego's got nothing on a D4. Okay, let me go to my gallery here because I've got, like, an entire collection. Okay, so counting from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh! 
that that almost never ends up being the the item of the day the swap of the day as it were all right i'm gonna have to give me a uh, a, a moment here chat to put this dice tray away i gotta i have to step out to find this 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 piece that's gonna get swapped <laughs> Bear with me, I will be right back. I'll just go ahead and, I don't know, um, uh, I'll, I'll just play this, this song while I go looking. Okay, so <clears throat> we got this pair that was up on the wall, fancy lace, and now because of the pants swap option that was redeemed, I'll just fold those up and toss them off to the side. This is going to be interesting because the, like, there's no effective way to hang this up um, without it getting all weird, but um, yes, this... On this day, the uh, the swap has actually turned out to be a little bra. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you thought it was you thought it was uh, limited to just the stuff that goes on the bottom. No, it's not. It's not limited to just bottoms. People have purchased me tops too. So, you know, very minimal, very minimal. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to get some coffee in. But yeah, there you go. <clears throat> get it looking at least somewhat uh, nice up there. Oh, and I might want to put my little panties back on... Uh... The enormous shelf of garments. <clears throat> you
You love the robot fucker mug? Yes, yes, this was given me... This was given to me specifically because of uh, all of the, the the way that I romanced every single uh, synth android in uh, Fallout 4 when it came out. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I have a set of white dice covered in red flecks. I call them my blood sp uh, splatter dice. <laughs> Oh my god. You know, I still have that dice tower that you gave me. Man, that's uh, that's actually right there up on my uh up on my bookshelf. I have got to get this bookshelf over here replaced. You guys never see it because it's out of frame and everything. There's stuff on it that like it's a mess. It's a mess. It's not worth showing, but like it's one of those basic like particle board um bookshelves that you get from like Walmart or Target or something. It's it's a terror it it's it's it does the job, but I need a much nicer freaking bookshelf over there. <clears throat> I have so many issues of old magazines. Oh well old gaming magazines. Nintendo Power and on even uh a series called Tips and Tricks. God. Don't forget about the flag change. Oh my god, that's right. Okay. <gasps> mm, excuse. Oh, we. <clears throat> okay, who was the one that did that? Super Dad. Super Dad was the one that did it. Uh, what flag do you want? I've only got two to switch between. Well, I've got I have three total flags to switch between. Um, were the accent? Yes, yes, that too. Okay, we'll hit swap wall pants. I'm trying to catch up with chat. I need to get this other stuff done. Uh, Momo, your S word is um, swap because that's what today is all about at the start. Swapping stuff out on the wall. So, pine, cherry, wood, cedar. Here's the thing. I want to get a full heavy duty bookshelf from like the local furniture store where it's like, oh, well, that'll run you $500 for that thing. Minimum or something along those lines, you know? I heard Bethesda is working on Starfield's first DLC. That's nice. You know what they could also do? They could work on the things that they promised they would freely patch in. Like fucking local maps in that game. Anyways. And you got show mug done. Jeez. Check out your local thrift stores. A great idea uh, for heavy duty furniture. Yeah, there's a, there's a local antique store down the road as well. It's huge. It used to be an ice rink. Um, and, you know, the, like the ice rink folded in that just the whole entire building is turned into like a, an, an antique mall, as it were. But anyways. <clears throat> you can get a custom craft. I could. I could. Anyways, Super Dad, uh, I even redeemed the flag swap at the same time uh, to save you trips. Yeah. And then my old brain pan was like, nope, we're only going to keep track of one thing at a time. I've got three different flags that can go up on the wall. There's the trans flag that's up there now. There's the pride flag. And then there's the flag for the new California Republic from Fallout. So those are your options. Tell me which one you would prefer. Uh, I will just randomly choose one if you do not know which one to do. I used to have a pair of like oversized novelty panties on the uh, on the wish list. <clears throat> no American flag. I try to stay away from like flags that represent actual real countries. Uh, it they, you get into murky water very quickly with those things. So. What I do is I specifically stick to uh, flags that represent specific causes, in this case, trans and uh, pride, as well as um, flags for completely fictional things. Like, if I could find a freaking Hyrule Kingdom banner, I would get one for up there. Because, like, that the, the, the color combination for, uh, for Hyrule... Uh, from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I love the look of those banners, but nobody freaking makes them. Nobody makes one, except for like if you go to Etsy and they're like, oh, that'll be like $85 for one of these. And I'm like, eh, that's a little bit too much for me, you know? So <clears throat> if I if I get the fish boyfriend pillowcase, would that count as a flag? Oh, no. Yes. 
Yes, that would. I can't deny it. I, I, I don't want to say yes, but at the same time, it would work. It would work. I'm surprised you don't have a Caesar's Legion flag. I mean, it, it, it all comes down to what people have purchased for me. I, I, I don't buy, I've, I haven't bought pretty much any of the decorations behind me. Chat has bought the decorations for me over a very long period of time, mind you. Like, most of what's back here has been just blank for a lot of my, uh, my time. And if you look at the throne wish list, I swear, like, there's not a lot of wall decorations back there. Feel free to suggest things, but man, there's been an explosion in uh, suggestions. Even the Nuka Cola poster? Yep, the Nuka Cola poster was a, uh, that, that, that was a gift as well. All of this is gifts. I've been doing this for over a decade. I've been doing this for over a decade, and I'm, I'm not Mr. Beast over here. I'm not Ninja either. Don't worry, it's not a problem. I, I wouldn't want to be either of those. But I'm, I'm not that level of, like, recognized. Just because you've been doing something for long doesn't mean you explode in success. Um, <clears throat> let's do pride? All right. We'll get the pride flag up there. Oh, we. All right. There we go. Got the flag swapped out. God, an old school televangelist was the accent redeem. <clears throat> nice office, by the way. It looks cozy. What you can't see. Because, like, I've specifically curated the, the look behind me, except for, like, things are a little bit piled up back there. But, um, do you check your email? Sorry to pester you. Um, I do. Uh, I am very bad at it. I have, you know, like, about, oh, God. You know what? You know what? I don't, I don't think that I've checked this in a long time. Um, oh, okay, well, notifications about how many unread emails you have tops out at 99. So it says 99 plus uh, unread emails. You have no idea. Like, I have, I have multiple professional email addresses. Um, and somehow, like, developers still figure out what, well, developers and PR campaigns, they still figure out my personal email address. I have no freaking clue how they figured that out. But I am getting messaged um, material on a regular basis, you know. So <clears throat> I, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> that I haven't gotten to your email, um, Kite. Uh, I will say I did, I did see the notification for your email, okay? I have not read it yet because again, things are freaking busy. So, <clears throat> anyways, um, what you're not seeing in this office is the fact that I have a whole bunch of sound dampening panels in like basically wherever I look, I see sound dampening panels specifically to to improve audio quality and everything that's that's probably one of the reasons why you know like whenever i was eating my sandwich here you could hear it so well because of 
the microphone. You can even hear the rain in the background in Minecraft because I've had it open this whole time. Um, but this tiny little corner over here has none of the sound dampening so that it gets to be decorated for your viewing pleasure. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> yes. All right, so... Um, you know what? Let me check. Huh, that's interesting. Um... Sorry, sorry guys. I'll 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 be back with you in a moment. I'm just Okay. There. Did that. Sorry. Just had to take care of something very quickly. Which is not necessarily something I should be doing on stream. So again, I apologize. Uh, oh, okay, so, chat, what on earth have you guys been saying this entire time? Um, thanks, my bro, really loved Strife. I'm starting to see uh, the appeal. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. The true Caltrop. Yes, those D4s, absolute Caltrops. Is that how you say it? Caltrop? I remember, like, thinking that there was said uh, caltrip or cantrip or something. Your DM dice. Yes, yes, my DM dice. Ooh, secret pants. <laughs> yes, yes, the, the, the set that's up there. Although the, the true secret pants are what I'm wearing today, which I don't have anything to worry about. Nobody's going to freaking call bluff today. I'm certain of that. <clears throat> Caltrop is correct. Cantrips are a different thing. I, I've, I've just always had one of those pronunciation things. You know, like I can read perfectly fine, but my, my eyes move faster than my mouth. So. Guessing you're somewhere in America. I am in America, but it is not raining because I have had Minecraft open this whole time because I thought I would get to it faster than... God, I've been streaming for 40 minutes now and things have just been absolutely non nonstop. Call bluff equals hundo. Yes. Well, technically, you don't have to call my bluff. You could just make me change outfits. That's an option, too. <clears throat> All right. All right. Sansa 5, I am sorry about not doing your um, uh, accent redemption yet. I am very preoccupied. Um, ten minutes of old school televangelist. This will be interesting. Um, <clears throat> if you just give me a moment, I'm, I'm going to wait to do the, uh, the accent until I, I figure out what on earth I'm doing here. I'm just going to run a couple of errands while I figure myself out, as it were. So I, wanna see, uh, I want to see if I got this straight. If I were to donate 100 plus, you change into a costume... That's half of it. That's that's a potential one of two. Okay, yeah, it's an either or scenario. Uh, no, I'm I'm not I'm not answering my phone right now. <laughs> Jeez, ugh. I'm so, like I think it's just the pharmacy being like, hey, your medication's ready again. I'm like, uh, so, yeah, okay, sure, I'll 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 get it later. Why don't you just text me like you always do? Um. If you were to do, uh, donate a hundred, specifically through the donate button uh, beneath the stream, um, if you're on PC anyway, um, what I would do would depend on your decision. You could tell me to swap what's on the wall, uh, and you get to find out what I'm wearing underneath, 
or you could tell me to change costumes. Uh, change into a costume, and I would tell you what costumes are available. Hell, I could tell you what costumes are available right now. I don't, I'm not going to charge for, uh, for the knowledge of what your options are. I wouldn't want anyone to, anyone to feel uh, cheated, as it were. But, um, yes, it's, it's, it's an either-or. The costume swap is a new thing. We haven't actually done it yet, but... <clears throat> you can either get me to strip off my current pair of underwear and put it up on the wall, or you can get me to change into a costume from the wardrobe that is uh, currently available. Those are the two options. Not both, just one. Frilly schoolgirl outfit? I'll be honest. I will be entirely honest, okay? Um, if I check my notes, I believe? Costumes. I do have a schoolgirl costume. It is like a, a pink sailor schoolgirl costume. The skirt does not fit. It barely fit me whenever I got it like 10 years ago. I have absolutely gained weight since then. The skirt, so the skirt will not fit. Um, I think that was the first thing that was ever given to me. I have a schoolgirl costume, Red Riding Hood costume, a cheerleader costume. I have a virgin killer sweater, a mookini. No, the mookini can't be done. That, that, that doesn't fit me normally. Uh, a pink dress. Uh, mm, a corset. The corset would have to be out. I don't have anybody to help me put it on right now. Uh, a cocktail dress or just a straight up suit. Now, keep in mind, if you do something like that, I, I like it. I say quick change. I'm not quick at changing. Okay. Just because I, it is a quick change does not mean that I change quickly. <laughs> so, okay. I got a, wait a minute. Is Yes, okay. So I want to head out to Side Shale. I have a ratchet problem. He's clawing at the door. Oh my god, alright, alright. The cat is demanding to be let in. I'm gonna let him in. Yes, it is ratchet time. Let me move you guys a bit closer. so loud right now. Ooh. How are Ratchet and Harker getting on? Uh, they're not, really. <laughs> they're not. They don't want to have anything to do with each other. I think part of it is the fact that Ratchet here is still being territorial, and Harker, Harker just has too much damn energy. Ay, yay. Buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yep. You can't shift around on me that much and have it be okay. You're gonna shove claws into me at some point, buddy. <coughs> Woo! <clears throat> You're just gonna set up shop back there? Yep. Okay, he's licking his butt now. <laughs> There are fewer fights between the boys these days than there have been, but um, they're still they're still not friends. I'll I'll put it that way. God, get a cat up in your face like that, and all of a sudden the fur is everywhere. <clears throat> okay, so we've arrived at the other uh, other end of the rail line, and I gotta figure out how to design this freaking station. 
Oh, good. Slowly learning to get along. Yeah, there's still there's still occasional like screaming fights through the through the house, and I can't we I can't tell anymore what's going on between them. Like it's not doesn't sound a whole lot like it's happening for any particularly good reason, other than someone stepped too close to somebody else. You know. Ahoy all, the Minecraft station, uh, the Minecart station's looking good. Yes, the, the, the central station for the, the, the world is looking quite happy. This out station, though, at the, uh, at the warehouse needs to get fixed up. And I think, uh, the last time that I was streaming, I mean, it does not sound like it's too bad. Uh, best way to phrase it is that it's been worse. So... <clears throat> Um, uh, last time that I was streaming, I determined that, uh, I needed copper to build this station. So, uh, I was out and I was doing a bunch of mining. Actually, it was you guys who, um, who helped me determine that it was, uh, going to be a copper build for the station. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use straight copper. We're going to let it age. We're going to let it patina. Um. Oh. It's growing. Um, I'm currently uh, farming acacia trees out here. Acacia trees are a bit of a pain in the butt. They're not the most painful tree to, to farm, but they're definitely not fun to farm. <clears throat> Thank you, Amy Girl. Remember, for the sexually inexperienced, paying for sex is actually paying for an education. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, you get a chuckle out of me for that one. Okay, so we're 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 gonna we're gonna build uh the station with basically um a series of support pillars. And those support pillars are gonna be made out of copper, and then the main body of the station I have determined is going to be made out of brick because I have so much of the stuff. This will probably be enough. <clears throat> Accent? Oh yeah, yeah, I did I did do the adorable kitty. Well, I mean, he certainly uh he certainly seems to be aware of the fact that he's adorable, uh, Ashley. Also, welcome to the stream. Okay, so... I gotta figure out how this is gonna work. Um, let's say we push this wall back. Yeah? Let's push this wall back. <clears throat> and now I'm ready to do your televangelist thing. So... Here we go. So, I'll start a timer here. <clears throat> I have the the one and only pick. Look at this pick, for upon it is the power to compel the stone to fall out and just disintegrate from the wall and find its way into my pocket and then turn into some money and then turn into a significant bank account balance. Go ahead and just put down those torches right back where they belong. And what we will do is we will create some pillars like this. And then maybe, maybe some more pill, pi what, maybe some more pillars? Uh... I have, to, I have to, oh, the power of the pick must compel some more stone to move. It cannot stay where it is. I will, I will return to your fantastic statements and your, your chatting once I, I am no longer doing a character, just so you know. 
This is the way that a televangelist would sound, right? Specifically, a very southern preacher from a mega church. <clears throat> Couldn't be misunderstood any other way. So this is the way that the entire thing is going to look. Go ahead and remove that one. That's not necessary. Don't worry. It's going to be hollow on the underside. Because it's not necessary for there to be real substance underneath. What matters is what you see on the outside. And that's why you got to donate to me right now. The remaining question is exactly how large this entire place is going to be. Then I can determine how many pillars need to go, uh, how far back into the station everything has got to come. I think that things are a little bit too cramped right here this way. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do. Oh, I am, I am bringing the end to everyone and everything. Look at this. No one ever, no one ever saw the shulker box coming. Praise be to the Minecraft gods by the eight corners of a cube. We will solve the problems of the day. I feel so conflicted doing this personality. Right, so... I have made the kitty cat feel uncomfortable, and he is now looking to vacate the premise. Which I can't really blame him for, for because I feel conflicted about it myself. I, I don't think I have enough space in my inventory for the rest of this... I'm going to load up the brick and I'm going to put it back in the warehouse. I have so many more brick that are still yet to be made. All right, it was it was a slight distraction by by the forces of evil, but don't worry. We're just fine. We're now back on track, as it were. The divine might of the cube will not lead us astray, and we will find the true meaning. Of success. Or something. Um, we will do just one of these, and we will leave this one intact so that I do not screw up the construction of it like I did last time. And it is, uh, it is two blocks between them. Perfect. The question becomes, how far back should this go? This is three blocks, so it's got to be at least three blocks back from the, from the curve. From the curve. So technically, te techni technically, I could just do it this way. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm figuring this out. Maybe. I'm not abundantly... Uh, certain. So, it would naturally curve, and then it would be, uh, just the one, two, three, uh, past the one, two, three. Okay, and then, then you get the cactus right here. Okay, so the cactus goes right there. That's no, that's no problem. Put the cactus down right there, and you put the dispenser down right there. And then, whoa, oh, by the power! Look at it. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's correct. That's correct. And we do the uh, activator and the detector rail, followed by the cactus. 
then we put the the slab on top of that you see what happens whenever you know what you're doing it's a thing of beauty right here put the block down and we put the stone button on top of it and there we go there we go okay it's been redesigned it has been redesigned thank the maker thank the cube thank the vertices for it is without them that we would not have existence and without the existence I wouldn't have a flush bank account full of your money please donate today <laughs> The cube is going to round. It is going to lose its edges if you don't give now. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and just rip the rest of this out and fix it up. <clears throat> All right, so uh, that is uh, over one, two. Is it two over? What's going on with my space in here? All right, let's let's double check that my my block counts are correct. We wouldn't want the the divine cube to be upset with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, it's correct. That is correct, which means that it was not correct right here. And I have to fix that. Can't let it. I can't let it be incorrect right there. All right. So we move that, and then it is. It is the detector rail, and then the activator rail. We gotta dig out these three blocks right here. It is a dispenser there. Hopper there. And the sand block right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way it goes. Perfect. It's looking beautiful. Exactly as I would want. We're gonna take this diorite out because we just want we just want this. Right up in there. Right up in that goodness. All right, there we go. There we go. It's all fixed up. The station has things where they belong. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what size the station needs to be. And I do believe that the, that the divinity of the cube will speak to me. You just give me a moment. Maybe the cube has some divine knowledge for me. Let's get some stairs. Let us get some stairs. And we will be able to determine what the cube wants. I believe the cube, the divine cube, is telling me what I need to do is put stairs, copper stairs in, and figure it out. <clears throat> Here we go, copper stairs. Oh, wait a minute. I need copper slabs as well. Come to think of it. Ah! What can I make out of this? Just, just the cut stuff. All right. We'll take an extra stack. Just, just for the, f just for the future. Okay, you've gotten 11 minutes of me doing that accent. Which was more southern preacher than it was televangelist, honestly. But hey, you got you got you got your points worth, right? Hopefully you got your points worth. And I didn't drive too many of you away, hopefully, you know. 
Man, that, that roof is finally starting to properly weather on the back end. Okay, so here we go. Um, I want to figure out the arches between these gaps before I uh, dedicate to anything. Would this look best? Would it look better? Like this. Get that off my. Yeah, I think it might look better this way. Maybe. Well, that's a little bit too apex, you know? Yeah, that's two apex. We want to we want to use a slab. Yeah, that 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 looks way better. That looks way better. What I might come back down because they're in the next update, uh, one twenty one. They're gonna introduce like chiseled copper. <clears throat> I might come back and like fix it up even further. That'll do. Yeah, that's fine. This works pretty well. So. The real challenge is going to be this right here. Um, oh, hey, that that kind of works. I didn't expect that to work, but it's 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 a nice buffer between the style that the tunnel has versus the style that the station is getting. Yeah, we'll do it that way. We will do it that way. And I'm liking this space, which is one, two, three, four, five between the arches. So now that I figured that out, one, two, three, four, five, we can Okay, so the question is, do I want the station to be because like I I didn't intend for this to be so large, right? You know what? I should probably get a playlist going. We get some a little bit of music in the background. Should have found you some organ music for the preacher hour. <laughs> Would have been a good one. Um, <clears throat> you know what? It's been ages. I'm going to listen to this. I don't play this game anymore, but... Oh, look. I have some of the, uh, some of the copper weathering already. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then put the blocks in. Okay, so this is the way that the station looks, which frankly I think isn't too bad. The question is, does it need to be a bit larger? Like, should I take it back one more set, one, two, three, four, five, and then like put the la put the back wall here, or would I be fine with like cutting the wall right here? You know what? I've got I've got enough stone here. I could like get an idea for it by just how does that look this is feeling cramped this is feeling very cramped I think that extending it back 
might be the better, best option. So we will just take this back up. <clears throat> I've got to come up with a floor design as well. So the question is, do I extend it back by the same space as this, or do I just mirror this? I think mirroring it might be the best option. One, two, three, and then... Won't be needing that. Oops. Perfect. Perfect. It's looking just the way that I hoped it would. Except, I can take that out. I'm gonna conserve as much copper as I can. There's no point in, like, putting copper in where you're not gonna see it. Which actually does remind me now. Take this stuff out. Because you're not gonna see those blocks. There we go. Okay, looking good. Pink wool carpet floors. Okay, Momo, Momo. It's a subway station. Carpeting has no purpose here. <clears throat> if it's no trouble, then I'll list it. Runescape. Yes. Will, Will. What, Momo? What? It's a fantasy video game. <laughs> yeah, and I'm making the rules in it. Okay, let's let's get the pillars in place. Do whatever the fuck you want. Momo, I've got I got a specific way that my brain operates. And if I don't if I don't follow the rules my brain is giving me, then I'm going to have an absolute um OCD meltdown, okay? <laughs> all right, cool. I think that that's all the copper that's going in here. Okay. I just don't want to get sued. Su sued for what? That's why it's fun to harass you. Momo. Momo. Okay, we'll go ahead and pull this stuff back out of the shulker box. You mentioned Strife Solutions. Is it just a Minecraft thing? And also, there was an individual who had commissioned a ring with a blue stone with Strife Solutions written on it in gold plate. Would that be a problem to be auctioned? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's an issue. <clears throat> it's not that big of a deal. Strife Solutions is specifically a... Um, Like, I, I use it at this point if you donate to me through, um, through PayPal or something. You will be, like, you'll, it'll say, oh, do you want to send Strife Solutions money? Like, that's what, that's, that's what will happen. But, um, it does not, however, mean that, like, I'm gonna be egregious about stuff. I'm, it's not like I'm a huge company or anything, you know? Station may be a little bit dark with this type of lighting. So, I'm gonna leave some torches in the middle and before, until I figure that out. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, here's the thing. 
This is gonna be ugly as sin initially, okay? Like, I'm not even gonna try to, 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 to sugarcoat it. This is gonna be ugly as sin. Because the color coding is entirely wrong until the, um, until the copper weathers. These colors do not inherently go together, okay? Oops. That's a great, uh, grand idea. What if I just donate it or send you the proceeds? <laughs> <laughs> Feel free if you want to. I will not tell you no. Okay, yeah. So you see you see what's going on with the colors here? It doesn't really match up, but that's because the copper takes time to weather. So, um, as we see with just this single block over here, it will start to weather in time, and it will eventually end up completely green and patinaed. So... Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to stylize the floor eventually, but for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to rip out the wall, uh, everywhere that we possibly can. Man, of course there's freaking... Let's pick up some of this freaking experience from the coal vein. Oh, it's big and veiny. Chat, you know that I like them big and veiny. It's, it's messy, too. It's all over my face. Um. Take care, all. I need to get some work done. Thanks for the stream. Hey, Anexi, and it was nice to see you. I hope to see you again in the future at some point, maybe. Take care of yourself and have a good rest of your day. Okay, looking good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and dump as much of this stone. Oops. Ugh. Do, 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 do. More cobbly, eh? And I should probably stash some of this other stuff while I'm out here. My god, I'm really I'm really stacking up on this granite. Um and site. Die o right. Got dirt. 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 There we go. Dirt. Um, polished granite floors. I'm thinking... I'm thinking that the floors need to be a bit different in color. 
And I'm contemplating using, um, using maybe polished basalt. Because there's a lattice pattern that I can use for uh, polished basalt. Build the back walls in. There's also the ceiling that I have to consider. I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to go about doing the ceiling, but there's a decent chance that I will just... I will mess around with the, uh, the copper situation a little bit more. Ran out of brick. <laughs> Gotta go grab another stack of the stuff. Like, th I forgot how freaking loud and epic a lot of the music from this game was. Well, this soundtrack specifically. It's it's like, they, they did very much so, like, they did soundscapes, you know? Where it was like, no, we have like a two-minute track that plays whenever you enter an area, and then you just kind of don't hear any music when you're playing most of the time, so... It's very assertive. Incredibly. Watch game. <clears throat> can, can, does anybody here recognize the soundtrack? I'm curious. Skyrim? Nope. It's not Skyrim. Good day, fellow nerds. I hear some wow music. Wow. Kato. Kato spots it. He just walks in. Nobody else can guess it. Kato's just like, oh, hey, wow music. What's up? <laughs> just fucking showing everybody up without even knowing it. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, six. So... WoW is forever in my blood, whether I want it or not. Yep, yep. I mean, if you were if you were part of that group of people that played it, especially back in the really, really, really early days, no wonder I recognize it but could not place it. It's been 15 years. I mean, I was a big, like, Warcraft fan. I was a big Warcraft fan back in the day, you know? So... Like... 
I, w I was I was on that train with like Warcraft 2 and everything, so World of Warcraft was like, oh my god, this is gonna be so good, this is gonna be so fucking amazing. And then it was, you know, it was. Um, and eventually it stopped being amazing, because, you know, there were a lot of shitty people who got attached to the game. Like, playing World of Warcraft came to mean something entirely different from what it was initially, you know? Good ol' orcs versus humans. Much to my surprise, uh, like, I still have the CD for that. I can... I don't have a CD drive in my computer anymore, but, like, I think I, I, think I ri ripped a disk image. So if I was to mount that as a virtual drive, I could just install... Like, my point is... If I could get the C... If I got the CD out and just ran it off of a disk drive... It still works on a modern installation of Windows with no patching. That fucking astonished me when I discovered it. So, surprise, surprise. Just six short. We dropped off towards the end of Outland Quests. You see, I was a vanilla player. I played hard and long for the entirety of vanilla. And then there was a really there was a really long lull. Basically, it was during the late stages of vanilla that it became clear that the game was moving in a, oh, you've got to be with a huge party of people and you got to go and do raids in order for the game to turn, uh, in order for you to get in, uh, continued value out of this game. Um, and that is whenever I fell off with it. Like, I tried to continue playing the game, but I was like, there's, there's nothing left. There's nothing left. So, <clears throat> Strife, I have a bone to pick with you. What is it, Super Dad? You hung up about something? Played vanilla up until uh, Arn Quaj happened. I was talking about more recently with the private server. Ah, okay. It was a Wrath private server. Oh, okay. Like, they weren't really doing story for throughout almost the entirety of vanilla and like whenever the burning crusade came out i was like okay cool it's here again i'm gonna be able to play more of this and it just didn't feel the same and i just like i bought the burning crusade expansion played it for like this much and i was like no i'm actually done with this game i i have to stop that was a really really big disappointment to me but it was clear that the game had turned into more of a a min maxing experience than just a hey, I want to go out and adventure type of thing, you know? Like I could I could never do that whole, you know, like oh, the 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 game uh, the end game is nothing but raiding type stuff. Never did it for me. <clears throat> okay, so um I need lighting in here. I need dedicated lighting. So, to do this... We are gonna go two bo blocks back on every alcove.
You know, that doesn't really look the way that I wanted it to. I've got a better idea. <clears throat> you gave Momo shit for how she organized stuff in seven days. I saw your storage facility. You have zero reason to give others a hard time for about organ- What are you talking about? This place is so organized. There's an entire stack for every- s Single type of building material. Like, this is- this entire stack is nothing but bamboo blocks. This stack over here, even though it's pretty empty at the moment, is nothing but crimson stems. Over here, nothing but warp stems. Check this out. Ooh, wrong chest. Ugh. Still collecting a lot of stuff. Dark oak! Over here, we've got endstone. This is a warehouse! This is where I, like- I literally just sit around and I, I collect up blocks and I store it in mass for big, big projects. That's the purpose of this place. You want to see a normal storage system? Here, look, it's, it's ores, metals, and gems. Organics. Trees. Things that drop off of enemies. Your rotten flesh, ender pearls. Saplings, honey, bones. Here, we got nothing but food. Over here, it's uh, random bits and pieces, you know, like trap doors and fences and... I've got a freaking system and it makes sense. You have each item in its own place. That's because it's a fucking warehouse! It's a literal, literal fucking warehouse! Look at it! It is a warehouse! It is not intended to hold a bunch of random little pieces. It is intended to hold mass capacity of specific items. It's like saying, why the hell does the concrete company only store concrete? That doesn't make any sense! Why are, like, I don't understand. The concrete manufacturer only has sand, gravel, and clay. This doesn't make any sense to me. Lies, they also have steel. Okay, listen, you little shit. <laughs> I swear to God. Mm. An argument with stupidity is an argument you're gonna. What are you saying about me, Eli? Eli, what are you saying about me? Hmm? Hmm? Lanterns. That's what I came in here for. Lanterns. Much to my surprise, I don't have any, um... So... Oh, right. I only need, like, one block of iron. And make plenty of lanterns. I don't. So did I have extras in here? No, I did not. That's good. Okay, I had no extras here. I forgot that I moved. Uh, put that stuff in there. I was overflowing with supplies at one point. I had to fix it. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and smelt up some more iron, yeah?
down just a tad bit. Interns are stored in the basement. <laughs> yes, this is true. There's an entire story surrounding th the construction of this place. It is a location known as Sideshale, uh, and it was uh, shown off in Tev is closely entwined with this. I don't know if you have the time or the interest to check the stuff out, but if you're interested in what's going on with why this location exists, um, you can go ahead and check out um, on my main YouTube channel, Solu uh, Rebuilding Solutions, because it's the entire story of why this place was built, which was in service to build a separate location. I just so happen, it just so happens to be that after building this place, um, I realized it would serve a whole lot of functional purpose. Uh, so I, I, I've continued to work on it. <clears throat> Even though it it was mostly built for the purpose of being a set piece, uh, I didn't intend to use it for a lo for long term, but then after finishing, I was like, well, you know, just, I, I just play on this server for my own fun. And actually, this is a really good uh, way to use the place, so I'm going to do this with it. Here we go, the basalt chest. <clears throat> so, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so get twelve of these bad boys. Strife needs his bath salts. <laughs> bath salt chest? What are you doing on your server? What are you... I... God... Ch chat, why are you doing this to me today? Why are you doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this treatment, yeah? Because you're my pal. I don't think the pals treat each other this way. There we go. Get some of that polished goodness in here. Got either side of that, so I'm gonna have to make more uh, lanterns. I didn't make enough of them. Wait, did I? Oh my god, that was exactly enough. Alright, that's cool. I uh, I don't know what exactly to do with the ceiling here, but I do know what to do with the floor, so... <laughs> First it was the hype train. <laughs> God. Friends pretty much exclusively treat each other this way, I'm pretty sure. I... hmm... Not too certain I like this, Momo. Not too certain that I like this. If I move these torches in the middle, it gets way too dark. So unfortunately, I have to leave them here, but I gotta figure I gotta figure something out for how to light the middle of this space. Tin plating on the ceiling. I might do something like that, but there's no tin in this game. 
So whatever it is, if, if I did something tin related, it would have to be like, okay, well, what looks the closest to it type situation? I don't know. I'm going to focus on the floor because the floor, I do know how that's going to turn out. What I need is a lot of basalt. God forbid I should actually open the correct chest, though. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make one full stack of polished basalt here. And we're just going to start by tearing the entire floor up over here. And we'll worry about the space next to the tracks later. So the uh, the spring summer sale or the spring sale is uh, in full tilt on uh, Steam. Anybody uh, anybody eyeing up some goodies to give a shot to? <clears throat> Enshrouded is on sale if you've uh, been curious about it. I think it's about twenty two bucks right now, which is I'll admit that's a little bit like that's kind of going over a particular. Um, value in my in 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 my uh in my eyes and my mind no the enshrouded dangers yes yes kato enshrouded is on sale enshrouded is on sale come to think of it enshrouded store page Uh, I was wrong. It was, it's about $27. It's only 10% off. I was incorrect. I was incorrect. 27 securely puts it in a position where it's like, well, you could quite easily just say like, mm, nah, not for that much, you know? Okay, so now comes the fun part. By fun, I mean the tedious part of figuring out how I, how this works. Um, you know what? Options, resource packs, open. I need to check my uh, my screenshot folder. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> and shrouded dangers. I still have a massive backlog of log of games to play, but near and Halo Master Chief Collection are good prices. There's plenty of things I want, but game spending uh, waits for a bit. Too many are early access on my wish list, and I haven't even played the full versions of P Pacific Drive yet. What is Pacific Drive? I remember hearing about that game. Ages ago, I heard about it.
Oops. These uh, these lattice patterns really make you focus whenever you're working on them. things, that's what. <clears throat> Pacific Northwest Exclusion Zone game where you drive a car and scavenge fixing up the, your car as you go. Really? Wow, I didn't know. Pacific Drive is one uh, I wish list for later. <laughs> you know, come to think of it. Oh, it's not on sale. That's a surprise. I thought for certain that this would be on sale. Well, so much for the opportunity to buy that. Return of the Obradin is one that I've been uh, thinking about giving a shot to. But then again, there are so many freaking games in my inventory. You know, now that I've got this floor down, I'm not entirely certain that it's working. So I woke up when Will was yelling at chat about a warehouse. Yes, Tev. Super Dad decided to try and rake me over the coals for my organization inside of a warehouse. Evidently, it's not acceptable to have a box for uh, for a. St it's not acceptable to have a stack of boxes dedicated to separate, different building supplies that you'll need in mass eventually. Scared the shit out of me. God, I hear those fucking footsteps. I'm just like, oh god, oh god, what the fuck is that? Sh <laughs> it was a, it was a freaking trailer from Steam that I left open. Oh my god, I hate how it automatically scrolls through the freaking videos. Oh fuck my life. For a minute, I thought it was the goddamn warden that had somehow figured out how to reach me, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever if you know anything about Minecraft. But still. That is acceptable. What isn't, uh, is Strife giving people shit for organizing boxes. <laughs> I never gave Momo shit for organizing boxes. 
don't recall doing anything like that anyway. I'm just saying, you're making shit up. Lies, sir. Lies. You totally did. I did not! I did no such thing! Nothing of the sort! Holy cannoli. This is a busy floor. Redeemed S word. Your S word is uh, sanctimonious. No particular reason. Just that's your word, sanctimonious. This is why I have the load trailer option on uh, on off. I didn't know that you could turn off trailer uh, automatic trailer plays on um, on Steam. Well, Chad, I'm not abundantly certain that this is the best uh, floor design for a station because holy crap, is it ever busy? But this is what we've got. I've I've put it down, and I don't think I'm gonna change it. Wait a minute, crap. I thought I was finished. Turns out I wasn't. Um, which station is this? This is Side Shale. Oh, we're teasing Will today? When when do people when 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 are when is chat not teasing me? Tell me this. Will the brick bricks age like copper? No, the bricks will remain the same. The um the floor will remain the same. The copper will slowly turn green, and I can show you the color by going up topside. See? The roof here is made out of copper. Uh the some of it is waxed so it is not aged and then the rest of it has completely oxidized. So There you go. I love the floor. Don't you dare change it. I mean, it is it is a beautiful and wonderful floor design. I am very uncertain of when to use it because of how busy it is though. Time to edit will be uh lurking. Hey, enjoy your edit there, uh Kato. I think the way that the the way that this looks, the best way to make the the rail line stand out here is to specifically put diorite underneath all the tracks. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort my inventory out, put things away, and then I'm gonna come back and um, I'm gonna fix up the. Come on. Yeah, 
There we go. I'm going to fix up the underside of the rail lines with diorite. I need a lot more smooth stone. Well, not really smooth stone, just normal stone. Once it goes turquoise, it'll be great against the brick. Exactly. Like that 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 was the whole deal. Like I was building it and I was like, okay, this is this, this looks terrible right now and it'll take forever for it to oxidize, but once it does, it will look great. I'm certain of it. Um Right, so I don't need the granite. Um, I need to stash this. Cobblestone. Still got a, a, a decent amount of space left for the cobblestone. This, this entire stack here, uh, all three stacks here, are nothing but cobblestone. I don't know what on earth I'm going to put over here. Okay, off uh, to go DM and make my uh, player's life interesting. Have fun. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't use cy uh, cyan terracotta or concrete or the like. I, you know, a big part of it is the fact that I see so little of the stuff in, like... I don't know that there's enough space in my brain to remember those textures. And that's a component of why I keep forgetting about it. I need to get I need to de dedicate more to it. Um okay, so you can go away. I don't need you. Stash the scaffolding while I'm at it as well. Um This is more diorite than I need, but <clears throat> All right, so now that that's done, I've got plenty of space in my inventory. Let's just rip up the necessary tracks to get this done. Also, Luna, holy freaking moly, did you ever give me a workout on the, um, <laughs> on the wish list? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Twenty-four polished diorite. You deserve nice thongs. <laughs> That long pause, as intended, as intended, you hear me? Which is an ironic thing to say, Luna, because you didn't suggest a single thong. Detector. You do, and pl uh, pretty fishnets and a nice outfit to go with the bunny ears. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, uh, I guess I guess the rest of chat now knows that like Luna is like pushing hard to get me into the bunny costume of some type. <laughs> You should do a whole build around each. No clue what, but you should. Maybe a mesa build for terracotta. Not sure uh, for concrete. I think concrete is going to be like... Concrete I see as an increasing type of supply that like you specifically go out of your way to use in unique ways. So... Okay, so... I kept my hands on this stuff for for good reason. So what 
What if we just... I don't have any more copper stairs. I might have to fix that up in a bit here. But... You know what? I'll grab the copper stairs first. Let's go back and grab some copper stairs. Concrete might be a lab. Well, I mean, the labs underneath the solution tower are made out of concrete. Um, I see, I see concrete as like being a flare type of stone, where it's like, okay, well, what I what I need here is something that doesn't jump out. It kind of fades into the background. So that's the reason why I could fathom needing concrete. That's all that I needed. Okay. It wasn't a one-to-one. -one. Wait a minute. Do I have... Yeah, I've got normal stone. Okay. So, um, let's rip out these blocks. And these... And these. And these. Cool. We'll rip this one out too. Because I have a weather block. May as well just slap that bad boy down. Um, okay. So one, two. these out as well. So there, 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 there. Ugh. So much to do. I'm gonna need more stairs than I realized. <sighs> ah, crap. Two, four, six, eight more stairs. Okay, so. Where did my black shulker go? Where the fuck did I put my black shulker? Uh, chat, where is my black shulker? Was anybody watching? Was was anybody watching at all? I know that many, many, many of you just kind of like hang out in in chat and and like don't watch all that closely, but like Did anybody see what happened to my black shulker? <laughs> it's not my inventory. Oh, fuck me. Last I saw it was on the wall. Well, it's not there anymore. Black Shulker is not there. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so it's black. It's black... What other materials are black? Um, there's uh, basalt. I was messing around with basalt today. Nope, it's not there. Um, I 
Oh, there it is. Jeez. This is the challenge of having a black shulker box. Ugh. Let's go ahead and sleep. I have done this so many times where I'm just like, God, like where, where, where did my thing go? Where did it go? Where did it go? And like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best not to panic. And I have to remember that it looks exactly like a block of coal, which I deal with a lot. <sighs> okay. I'm going to do the most natural thing and I'm going to get a cup of coffee because everybody knows more caffeine is going to calm me down. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, chat. Ugh. You missed the accent for the day. What was it? Someone paid... Paid. Someone redeemed uh, old school televangelist. go okay head back down into the pit that certainly is a choice yes it was quite the choice <laughs> but it was what people chose I don't know what to say other than that Okay, so, um, okay. I think that this is everything that I'm going to need. <clears throat> okay, so... We will just fully cover the roof in these uh, slabs, and then I will figure out the designs afterwards. Like, it was an enormous, like, bear of a challenge to actually come up with the design for uh, the roof in the basement of Crossroads. But once it was done, I, I like I stepped back at it and I looked at it and I was like, man, this this roof looks freaking amazing and I got to do more of these. Ah, crap. There we go. All right. Station is nearly done. I got to figure out the stairway. I don't think that having uh, cobblestone stairs makes a whole lot of sense. I'm probably going to switch it to, like, brick or something. <clears throat> Maybe next stream I'll make it early enough to get one in thinking. Well, I mean, until then, there's always the flirt. I've also got to figure out this little uh, passage chamber here. It needs to be modified. Um, I was going to ask if you were going to have brick stairs. Brick or maybe something else? I can make, um, I can make, like, polished andesite stairs now. I might make it out of that. But stairs! <laughs> okay, I've got to figure out the roof now. That's, that's the more difficult part of all of this. The roof needs, or well, not the roof, the ceiling needs to look... It needs to be just different enough. The question is, do I make it a bright tone or do I make it a dark tone? The copper is going to weather into the, the like, the green turquoise patina. Should I just put granite on the roof? Like, it'll look disgusting right now. And that's, that's part of the enormous challenge. While I think this over, I'm going to go get some uh, some more lanterns. I'll be happy to start using um, copper bulbs in, uh, in the next update coming. Two or three wide stairs. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a two block wide stair stairwell, so... Let me eat something. We got assholes outside.
Oh, just the one asshole, not multiple. The granite, once it ages, will look pretty. Yes, yes. Like, that's, that's why I'm even giving it a thought, you know? But let's go ahead and finish lighting this place up and remove the torches from it. Like, frankly, I've overlit the station. It does not need to be this bright. But I like the way that it looks nonetheless, so. Hello, Liska Day. How are you doing? Wave. Well, I mean, I, it's, it's a bit of an odd flirt to redeem, but... Uh... <clears throat> there you go. You got a somehow I made a wave flirtatious. Uh, did I ever put a stone cutter in here? It would appear that I never put a stone cutter in here. Alright, in that case, uh, we will dig one out of my chest here. And just permanently install one. Okay, polished andesite stairs. having to use blocks. I'm going to try to sneak to my office while the puppies nap. <laughs> and very well, too. Well, I mean... I would certainly give you a handshake as well, so... Um, hmm. All right, I guess we're going to do granite for the ceiling. Because I am, I am rolling in granite as well, so... We'll just, uh, we'll start ripping out the ceiling and we'll get it, we'll get it done. Oh my word! That is just the outside. Okay, that's not safe. That is not safe in the middle of the night. I do not want my hard work getting blown up by a creeper. We're going to go sleep. So, Luna, I had to, uh, I had to give a lot of the stuff that you suggested hard thought. Specifically because some of it was like, oh, man. I like this, but then again, I could get, I could potentially do a different version of it. You know? And I had to, I had to make that hard decision more than once. It was like, okay, maybe it's not necessary to do it that way are my words making any amount of sense this is nice maybe I can do a different version of it and at the end I decided against it I was like okay we're just gonna go with the stuff that's actually suggested here mm. 
Nothing says you couldn't find other versions of, if it pleased you more. I'm not insulted. Well, okay, so here's 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 the detail, okay? I think what fired all of this off in the first place was the fact that um, uh, the last thing that I had up on the wall, which actually there was a there was a swap that happened earlier today. It got swapped to, ironically enough, a bikini top. Um, so uh, what was previously on the wall went up there specifically because it was lacy, and it like. It became a moment where it was like, oh, hey, like, there, I don't really have much, like, nothing has been given to me that's lacy. Um, and I believe that that was the original impetus for, like, uh, you know, suggesting a whole bunch of stuff to the wishlist. And, um, what proceeded to happen was, um, as I was going through things and I found the initial, uh, the initial lacy thing that was suggested um i also recognized the the style i recognize the style i've seen that style before wait a minute i've had that style before i used to have that style before you suggested a set that i've had in the past and subsequently War to Threads. In fact, I think you you suggested the same set that was originally sent to me, I, I believe, in a three-pack. So that was quite unexpected. And I sat there wondering and thinking to myself, uh, should I should I change this? Should I modify it? Should because like I've gotten this in the past, but then again it's been so long. Slow and steady. Slow and steady rin wins the race. I always find it funny whenever uh, you all end up... Like, you, you came out of the gate so strong today, chat. And it, it's always a little bit strange whenever that happens, because obviously you can't stay at the high all throughout the entire stream, you know? You've got you've to have your highs and your lows... And, uh, frequently, uh, you know, your lows, they're, they're, they're gonna last for a while, you know? So, like, I don't, I don't, I don't hold anything against you, chat, but it's just kind of strange to go out of the gate with such strength, with such gusto... And then to, like, end up in, in essentially the doldrums um, for the later half of the stream. And doldrums is a bit of a strong word to use as well. I, 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 it's got to be said. It's like, yeah, it's, it's the doldrums now. It's like, oh, well, that's, uh, well, mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of a rude way to put it. It's not entirely wrong, but, you know. Eight plus eight, 16, 17, 18. 22 stairs? 22 stairs. Sorry, did you want a hype train? No, that's just it. The freaking stream started with a hype train. I was doing the pre-roll, and it just, it, like, the, the freaking hype train popped off while I was, but before I had even shown up on camera, before I had said a single word. Ooh, my 
One of my favorite uh, musics. Strife call and chat boring. <laughs> is that what I get back to? I think he is, Momo. That's not what I said, but if that's what you want to take away from it. think about it ace i believe you were the one who uh who bought the original pack that has incidentally been resuggested again because it has lace on it how's that for coming back around oh yeah nice so yeah that's that's back on the list now. Been a hot minute. In Starfield, who was your favorite character in Constellation? Um, would you be surprised to learn that I didn't really communicate with any of them? Like, the one that I spent the most time with was Sam Coe. So, just from time spent, Sam Co would probably be my favorite. But that's mostly because it's like, who else have I spent time with? Basically, nobody. I have yogurt here. I buy, I buy two small cups of yogurt, and I try to make certain to eat it over the week because... Good for digestion. Did you see the last three things I added yesterday? I checked, but everything, like, melds together so much at this point. It's hard to differentiate one, one thing from another. Um... For all I know, I could have uh, I could have accepted it uh, too. So, right, the Stardew Valley stuff. Yes, yes, I did notice that. I did notice that. Okay, so we were working on this. One point six releases in three days. Yes, it does. Hello, Dust King. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Enjoy yourself while you're here. What? Screw that. I'm just gonna grab this. Shindo 
Sindore I haven't heard that in a long time. Okay. Um, would getting you to sing count as an count as an accent? You'd have to clear it with me first. You would have to clear it with me first. <laughs> Musical, is that an accent? Luna getting ideas. Will, you have a wonderful singing voice. When he comes back to us, I wish Will would sing more often. Uh, I don't know about that, but... What song was that? Um, it was from the World of Warcraft soundtrack. It's called Lament of the Highborn. Do Barbie Girl next? I would have to know the song, okay? And that's that's one of the big challenges. It's like, what music can you actually sing that won't be freaking tagged by the system? Because I don't want that to, ha to happen on either Twitch or YouTube. I stream on both. Um, I want both Twitch and YouTube to retain the videos. I went out, I went into the freaking shack specifically to grab lanterns, and I forgot to grab them. Imagine Strife as an opera singer. It could happen. It could happen. Stranger things have happened. Uh, Lament of the Highborn from WoW. Got it. I, um, back in the day, you know, when it was like, oh, yeah, CD player in your car and stuff like that. Um, I specifically had the entire, like, world of, like, this This particular playlist was pl was burned to a CD, right? And I would listen to it on the way to and from work. It was just like, yeah, it's what's in there and it's what it's just what plays all the time. So I uh I would listen to Lament of the Highborn at the end and I remember specifically like constantly skipping back to listen to the song over and over. Uh whenever I was going to uh and from work. <clears throat> Enough that I learned the lyrics to the song. So despite the fact that the lyrics are utter gibberish so okay so where were the lanterns Can i put them over here yeah i did okay um let's take a look I'm thinking that maybe what I do 
is I just make this nothing but brick. Make the walls here nothing but brick. That 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 seems like a reasonable option. Okay. So let's do that. Let's let's make the walls all brick. Oops, all bricks. <laughs> And we'll get some temporary torches up in here just to light the whole space up. Maybe not screw up on my block placements. I believe this used to be a lava pool that I'm uh, digging through right here. That's the reason why it's all cobblestone. Strife through the multiverse, there would have to be a few who turned into the famous performers. <laughs> yeah, and uh, those famous performers would have a less personable um, relationship with chat as well. That's like me with butts. Oops, all ass. <laughs> Boy, man, he's back. He wants more, like, quiet time behind me or cuddles. I don't know which. Welcome in. Okay, he's just going to wander around, I guess. Strife's next photo series. Oops, all ass. <laughs> yes, that's the that's that's the photo series specifically that will like open the OnlyFans and uh show off like the uh the bad dragon that was purchased for me at some point cuz that did happen, right? Right? Frankly, if anybody bought a bad dragon for me, I would be more flattered than anything else. Specifically because it's like, those things are fucking expensive. Like, ju just from the perspective of, like, the ex just the expense of it. The expense of it would be the most flattering thing. It was like, wow, that's, that's a lot of money you just spent. But good to know, getting you to sing isn't a straight no. It's uh, never without my permission. 
toy won't hear me complain the oops all ass series <laughs> you won't hear me you won't hear me complain about the oops all ass series god i mean where are we at right now how many pictures have been published two of five of the current set um and we are sitting at 45 out of 100 <clears throat> donated so you know there's still space to get more time in etc watch not if you <clears throat> will Okay, so this seems a good enough spot. We'll dig into the wall right here. We'll do lamps on either side. This is a great opportunity for me to use a little bit of this uh, deep slate. There we go. Okay. Lit the stairwell pretty well. Now to work on this right here. Okay, uh, we'll just rip these out. Got to find some more music to play. It's too quiet in here. Must get more happy sounds. Otherwise, the thoughts begin to invade me. Oh, come on, don't be like that. All right, fine. You're going to be like that. I'll work with you. I'll deal with it. There we go. There we go. That's not bad. Okay. So the station is almost finished. What I need to do now is figure out this little transition tunnel. <clears throat> There's a lot of ridiculously expensive stuff that if someone bought you would be intriguing. Yeah, there would be. I mean, what type of stuff can you push through that freaking list? The 55-gallon drum of lube is an option. Okay, so how the hell do I, I patch this thing up to be more interesting? I'm thinking that maybe what I do is I, um, I'm thinking that maybe what I do is I, I create a choke here, okay? Maybe that's what I do. Maybe let's use, let's use G Deep Slate to create a choke, because I like the idea of not being able to see this tunnel from within the station, so you get the most minimalistic, like, tiny little space that you're squeezing through, and then you come out the other side, and you're in a completely different area. It kind of feels that way. 55-gallon drum of lube, in inflatable kiddie pool, and slip and slide. Choke me, daddy. <laughs> yes, thank you. More things you would sing, please. I mean... The problem with singing... The problem with singing and just throwing that into any stream, and the primary reason why I don't do it, 
is because it always creates a copyright strike. You will get dinged. You cannot play the music in the background, and uh, there is a frequent chance that if you are even reasonably on tune, that the system will still be like, hey, we recognize that music. You can't sing that as a performative art without paying somebody for it. Dumb question. Does buying you things on Throne count as money for the picks? I doubt it, but I figured I'd ask. No, it does not. It does not count for money for the picks. <clears throat> Sadly and unfortunately, but I have to draw the line somewhere. Wait, what do you mean it's fucking raining outside? AccuWeather, do not fucking bullshit me. I'm gonna check the local radar. And I swear, if you are bullshitting me right now... Oh my god, that... That is... That is an actual storm. That is an actual... That... Wow. Okay. AccuWeather was not bullshitting me. Wait a minute, I have the ultimate way to check. Let's look at the window. Note to self, when you do OnlyFans, get, get you to sing there. Or maybe Patreon. Significant weather? Uh, no, it, it is raining. Just not very heavily. It's very, very uh, light amount of rain. AccuWeather was accurate. Not clickbait. Like, if people wanted to hear me sing on Patreon, I would do that. That's not a problem. Because I don't have to publicly push those videos out. I could I could make those private videos, you know, or like undistributed, unmonetized videos. It's like, no, Patreon, if you're if you're part of Patreon, you get to see that. No problem. I have no issue with that. Um, let's grab a stone cutter here. And let's take a look at what we have to work with here. Oh, this is just normal deep slate. That will not do the job. Okay. That is part of the reason why I'm holding on to it. Because I, I keep forgetting to um, dispense it, as it were. Actually, now that I think about it, let's just go ahead and um, stash that. It's amongst the things that need to be put away back at um, Midcrest. While I'm here... I'm gonna go ahead and get a catch a bit of a, a snoozy snooze. Weatherman might be another fun accent. You know, I've gotta I've gotta rebrand the redemption from accent to accent slash character or personality or something. Okay, um, right, Deep Slate, that's what I'm here for, I'm here for Deep Slate. We got some cobbled Deep Slate and we'll work with this. You set it into the world. I need to get a Patreon at some point now. God. Is that a bad thing? Wait. Uh, is, is what a bad thing? I think I missed something. Um, 
Okay, I want... I want two more blocks of copper. I gotta go go back and grab two more blocks of copper to make this work. Ah! Gotta eat more potatoes. Who would have thought that working on the station would actually take this much time? I thought for certain that this was going to be a task that I would be through with very quickly because I have everything necessary to get the work done. Is, is accent becoming accent slash character slash impression a bad thing? No, I think it's more like the accent thing was put up there a long time ago now. And it like the fact that suddenly chat has discovered ways to use it that you actually like to use. Because like I'll come up with ideas, but just because I come up with an idea doesn't necessarily mean I've come up with something that people like or or want, you know? And that is a uh, that is a fundamental challenge of being a creator. Just not 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 only being able to figure out what people want, but being able to figure out what it is that people like to see. You know, you can make something, people will watch it, but whether or not people are going to respond to it are a different story. Um, so I've it's it's kind of a throw things at the wall uh, type of situation. So so you collectively as chat, I feel I made it blue more. It's kind of that. It's kind of that. It's it's the fact that all of a sudden something that has been sitting around underutilized, frankly. Um, chat has now, through one method or another, figured out how to use it in a more creative manner that I wouldn't have thought of. So... What? It's yogurt. You don't like the sound of me running my spoon through a yogurt cup? That's a very incredulous look that you're giving me. This cat. <clears throat> Why not add an option one where you get to pick? I could do that. I can guarantee what I would pick almost every single time. I would just do the Scottish accent. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this out. And so what have we what have we got from the from the cobbled deep slate here? Um, let's do polish deep slate first. Yeah, okay, that should do the job. We'll come up here. I'm going to replace all of this with this pure white stuff. Uh, well, it's not pure white, but <clears throat> close enough. And we're going to do the same thing right here. That should be all of the removing of stuff that I'm going to need. So.
I was off by a little bit. Wait a minute. I, yeah, I was off. I had the right number of blocks. I wasn't doing the right thing. Okay, we can take this out. I realize that's not necessary. <clears throat> we will take this out. We'll take this out. Um, we'll make a little bit more of the deep slate stuff. Um, oh, right. I should probably play uh, a different playlist. It's been a hot minute. Um, go back to the playlists. Let's do this. Ah. Well, then again. There we go. <clears throat> we'll start with that. of that stuff. Uh, we will fill the roof in like so. There we go. It's looking nice. Like, you, you kind of have this, you know, like... It, it, it darkens it up. It makes it more difficult to see the tunnel beyond. Not that it's invisible, but there you go. That's nice. Okay, so let us, um, let's test it. Let's test it by taking the minecart and launching ourselves through it. Okay, no problem there. And then the launching. Yeah, no problem. No problem whatsoever. It's working perfectly. Just the way that I wanted it to. Beautiful. That's beautiful. There's one final thing left that I have to take care of. Which is um, messing with this right here. If you will. Um, just leave it like that. And um, I'll grab two more copper blocks to uh, chain this together. And what I will do is I will actually fix that up just ever so slightly. Uh oh, puppies are awake. And Super Dad is DMing BRB. You gotta go wrestle. Oh no. Was that Ratchet? Yes, Ratchet was um he was quite unhappy with He was giving me a bit of a look for the for the sounds I was making for getting some yogurt out of my cup. Oh man, no wonder Tev is so sleepy today. We got rain. Rain always knocks Tev the fuck out. Like, without fail. Okay, we got... Bricks and cobble and stairs, oh my. Um... Ooh, right, I got sticks to get rid of. This furnace back here needs to be my dedicated furnace for, like, just getting rid of, um, excess material that can burn. Um, I could just delete it, but I would rather, like, actually put it to use. Um, okay, let's, uh, dump the cobble. Music isn't too loud there, is it, chat? I'm trying to make certain. Don't want to drown you guys out accidentally.
Okay, so let's go take a nap. I need two copper blocks. Drive. Hi, Momo. <laughs> God, what a what a way to react. Um, oh, right, I have cobbled deep slate to get rid of. Um, whoop. Put that away. Oh, I need to put my lamps away. Constantly getting mixes up. Mixes upses. All right, now I'm gonna need some wood, some plankage. Spruce is what I'm gonna need, and that's really the best thing to use, as spruce is what I have the most excess supply of. You need a warning. I'm acting up again. <laughs> God. Momo, when are you not acting up? Okay, so we stash that. Let's... All right, we've walled it up as best as we can. That is a uh, that is a yet incomplete line. So there we go. There we go. The 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 station is finished. The station here is entirely finished. There's nothing left for me to do here, um, other than uh, just wait for the copper to oxidize and become more beautiful uh, in the process. So. Let's, um... Stash that. In the meantime, in the meantime, I can do something else. I was, uh, I was working on tree farming here, so that's probably what we're going to do for the moment. Hmm. <clears throat> I was starting to at, write something to ask Strife, then immediately decided to reply to Momo. Oh, really? Kind of trees? <clears throat> the tree farm I am currently working on is acacia, as you can see. This is a lot of acacia trees. In fact, oh my god, don't tell me. All the acacia trees actually grew. Usually I get pockets of just like, oh, it, it, didn't, it didn't grow because there's no space. But every last acacia, well, almost every last acacia. One, two have not grown? Which doesn't surprise me. The ones right next to the, the concrete uh, machine are the ones that are the most likely to just not freaking grow, so... Strife, I'm continuing my main railway and it's been mostly over water and ice and I'm about to hit a hilly area and I'm wondering if I should go over them or through them. Personally, whenever I have a situation where rail lines uh, hit, I build roads over land. And it basically comes down to what is the grade. You know? Excuse me. This just takes a whole lot of work right here.
Continuing my, my <clears throat> I am continuing my railway, and it's been mostly over water and ice. I'm about to hit a hilly area, and I'm wondering if I should go over or through them. So, it kind of comes down to what you want to do. Um, the closest thing that I have is building roads uh, on the overland. And my experience with the roads is that basically, if, it, if they are low-grade hills, you know, like their, their slope is kind of very slight, I will go over the hills, okay? If the hills are more, uh... If they're steeper, you know, it's like, okay, well, those those are still hills, but they're kind of steep, then my, uh, my course of action is to basically weave back and forth between the hills, if it's possible. And this, this is an important thing. It's like, you're, you're either dealing with a bunch of small hills that are just too steep, but they've got, like, spaces between them. They've got little valleys. You want to venture through the valleys. So weave back and forth through them. Or, an alternative, if that's not an option, if it's just like, no, that's a bunch of mountain that's got way too steep of a grade to go up, then it's tunnel time. Strife follows the bear hunt method. Um, I'm sorry, I don't go to those types of bars. Um... I despair for you, William. <laughs> Only the bear hunt kind of ours, God. It seems to be mostly hills and trees. They don't seem particularly high. You might try going over them. It depends on how much challenge it is to go over the hills. Of course, Strife wouldn't go to a bear bar. His little twink self wouldn't make it out in one piece. <laughs> God. Oh, my word.
Why would you despair for me, though? What what have what have I done to justify a despair on my behalf? Go take a nap. It takes forever to cut these freaking groves down. What is life without bears? Um, smooth and um, slippery. That's what. Smooth and slippery. If I if I went into a bear bar, I'd have, I'd have a collar slapped on me and dragged across the room in no time, man. I wouldn't last five minutes. being? Fine, I guess. But that's the point. Listen, listen. I'm not saying that that would be a problem. I'm just saying I don't want a bear to do that to me, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Wait, you have collars in your wardrobe, right? Uh, yes I do. I do have a collar. With a chain. I'm pretty certain that it was one of the things that was bought for me. I've got a- I got a choker that looks like a collar. No, uh, no accounting for taste, I suppose. <laughs> God, so judgmental. Jeez. Listen, if you want to slap a collar on me, go ahead. I just... Not a bear, that's all. Oh, we... Ugh. That, just the one or two blocks that are just out of reach. The pain, the misery that it causes. I missed something over here. Yes, I did. Of course I freaking did. I'm always missing that one single block. Really? It's gotta be raining now?
What color do you happen? Uh, uh, what color do you happen to remember? Do not put things out there unless you are really, really ready for that. <laughs> oh my god. I call you if I thought you were, uh, your fiance would be okay with it. My word. Oh, we. Well, if there's nothing else that's, uh, if nothing else is true, I do know the audience that I am playing to. <clears throat> uh, what I have is black. It's just black with a normal silver chain, so. Um. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all there is to say there. There we go. There had to be so much wood. I mean, strictly speaking, that's the entire purpose of what I'm doing here. All the wood, but still. Come on, man. Why does it have to be so freaking difficult to harvest? Like, I'll even stand on the extra block and still it's too freaking tall for me to reach. Just, yeah. a nice red and white one then red because you're uh, it's your on brand color I I guess you would call it and white to go with the things you have wore in some of the few outfits God. gotta get your morning wood I mean that's technically that's what you guys are watching me do you're watching me whack my morning wood constantly like that's that's what a, a big hunk of this stream is being now it's just me playing with my morning wood um The, the difficult part is that it's always so large that um, I have a hard time reaching the tip. Which is, which is usually not the, it's usually the exact opposite, you know, you always, it's always like, oh, just the tip. But it's like, no, in this case, it's like, no, no, the base is really, really easy. It's the tip that's hard to reach. We also technically watched you polish your metal and get your rocks off. <laughs> God. My word. Chat, you thirsty today. You very thirsty today. I'm not going to say that that's a bad thing. But you also, basically won't put your uh, money where your mouth is on that uh, on that topic
Ah, yes, Thursday today, as distinct from any other day. <laughs> Is this news? Not necessarily. It's not necessary. Like, the thing is, the seed for horny. Wow, did I really just put it that way? The seed for horny? God. Um, is always there. It's just, it's not always active. Okay? Like, there's no telling whether or not you guys are gonna, like, go full horny on any given stream. Sometimes it's full horny. Sometimes it's just kind of thirsty. Other times, it's dead as can be. And I have no way of predicting how you all are going to act from one stream to the next. I know how I'm going to act. I'm the performer. I know the freaking jokes that I'm going to be making. The type of innuendos I'm going to be throwing down. But you guys are like a freaking wild card. Well, yeah, sometimes I'm not here. <laughs> Horny for C... Oh, my word. Yes. What was it? Um, What was the meme? Uh, no pregnant, only breed. Yes, there we go. That, that, was, that was the way that the joke went. NFP, yes, the non, uh, the non flaccid penis. If chat is not in the mood for lewd, then it falls very flat. It does. It really does. Muzzled Momo? I'm into it. God. To be honest, I mostly keep myself muzzled for public consumption. I try to read the room. Yes, this is also true. Makes it difficult. You know, sometimes uh, not, not everybody knows how to read the room. That's, that's, a, that's a skill that I've had to build up, like reading the room. And it, I, I essentially just call it knowing how to do late night level of humor, you know? Where it's like, oh, you could get away with saying that on late night broadcast television. I feel a lot at reading the room. It's way hard, even harder in online spaces. Oh god, tell me about it. I'm only managing as well as I do because of all of the experience that I have. And let me tell you, reading the... Reading the bedroom is even more difficult. <laughs> And don't even get me started on the hotel room during a hookup. God. Oh, man. <clears throat> That's a pricey hookup, though. I don't think that anybody does that. Who that? Like, love hotels aren't a, like, they're a thing in Japan, my understanding goes. But, like, I don't, I don't know about, like, "Quote unquote love hotels in America. Like the, the closest you get is just like the the cheapest, seediest. Ooh, seedy. There's that word again. Seediest place that you can find where it's like, oh god, like as low as fifty bucks a night. Maybe I think it would be a miracle if you could find a place that's fifty bucks a night in uh, in America these days. Makes you wonder what you would be like without the late-night broadcast restrictions. I don't... I don't legitimately know. It's like... I don't know. Like, if, if I was to go, like... 
full titty streamer where it's like everything that you do on like a Twitch stream would be, you know, just within the limitations of terms of service. And the entire purpose of it was specifically to just get people to a different platform where the real money is made, you know? And what you do there is way more, is just outright explicit, you know? I can only, I can only imagine the way that I would do something like that. I'm like, that's not my game. I'm not going to do it. But at the same time, like, that's an entirely valid, that, that is an entirely valid um, business model to engage with. And there are plenty of people who do it. My understanding, my understanding, no, my knowledge is that it is almost exclusively women that do it. There's a much smaller market for men doing that type of thing. So that makes it even more obfuscated. It's like, I have no freaking clue, bro. I have no freaking clue. I thought America's famous love hotel was uh, the Hotel California. They exist. I know they exist in Washington. There are ones that change by the hour, that charge by the hour. Okay. Like, that's just it. Like, the, the, the whole charge by the hour situation, <clears throat> that, is, um, that is something that I've only heard of existing in Japan. But, um, yeah, yeah, again, it's like, I can see, I... From the beginning, it's like, oh, I can see that that could pop, that guy, that could exist in America. I just don't think, I don't think I've ever seen it, you know. <clears throat> a love hotel is a place you play, pay either by the hour or overnight to have sex. What exactly is a love hotel? Oh, oh, well, <laughs> there you go. Oh boy. Well, there's another full stack of, um, a big load of wood. Another huge load of wood. Okay, now my storage space for sticks is basically gone, so I've gotta, I gotta fix that. Um, let's grab a touch of wood here. Make a chest. Ooh, hey, uh, do I have any... I do, I do. Nice. Let's make a barrel. Let's get ourselves a hopper. Gotta get myself a whopper. I also imagine they exist in Las Vegas. What I can say about Las Vegas is that um, prostitution in Vegas is legal. But it's only legal, I believe, on the outskirts of Las Vegas. Like, there's... That, that, that was something that struck me. It was, like, the number of um, prostitution cards that were being handed out on the boulevard. Because uh, I've, I've been to Vegas. <clears throat> and the best way to describe Vegas is the most sophisticated, tacky place I've ever been. Okay? And there's really no better... There is no better way to describe Las Vegas than... The most sophisticated, tacky place ever. Um, <clears throat> which, you know, to the credit of the location, that's exactly the freaking purpose. Um, but whenever I was there, you know, uh, browsing, uh, walking down the boulevard, or the, the Las Vegas Strip specifically, um, I there were, there were tons of people handing out what were effectively business cards for prostitution. Um, and what you, like, it, it was just so, it was so surreal in all honesty, because these cards specifically described, you know, the fact that one, it is legal in quote, the great state of Nevada, you know? Like, that was very specifically, the, like, whoever whoever took time to, like, write a bunch of these cards, and I think most of the cards were written by the same person because it was basically the same copy every single time. Um, it was, like, it was a very 
skillfully went through the process of telling you this was the service available. It is... <clears throat> it, it went through the process very artfully almost of saying this is legal in Nevada. This is where you go for it and we have the best out there. That was the way that every single card read and they're like they're just they're just throwing these things at you the, the entire time the freaking street is littered with them because i mean how many people actually want to keep those types of cards um so like obviously i i'm gonna take the time to freaking read one because they're so prominent and i've never seen them before and i'm just like this is this is interesting and it's specific it's specified that it's like no you got to go out of the city to to you know <laughs> go to a place like this and i'm like well then so for that reason, I don't think that love hotels are particularly popular in uh, Vegas. <laughs> then again, maybe maybe love hotels are like right in line with the fact that they allow prostitution, and they're just all built, you know, <laughs> in the districts where they're where it's allowed. Essentially, um, I don't know. I don't have answers. All I have is anecdotes based on what my what I've experienced. All right, time to use all of the damn sticks I've been picking up. There. Hello, Extra Happy. How you doing? Oxy Station? Why would you build one of those? Are what are you? An oxymoron? <laughs> Very funny extra happy here. Since you just showed up, I'll show you what we what we did today. We have finished the station for side shale. This is the rail station and the reason why it's called an oxy station is because it's got all of this copper that's going to, uh, that that decorates it with the pillars and stuff, but it's going to take time to oxidize. So Whatever happened to just bringing someone home with you? Uh, well, I don't know. I uh, think that might be difficult if you're a tourist. So this is this is a very orange and red um, station, but it's eventually going to oxidize, and it will look significantly different. I even went through the trouble of putting in this nice lattice pattern for the floor. So, good stuff. Good stuff. And all of the copper is going to look the same as the roof when it's finished oxidizing, so. I like the orange and red, but the turquoise is going to be awesome. It'll just take forever. It will take absolute ages. Like, um... Oh, I can actually show you really quickly here. So, if we go... To the back side of the warehouse here. This warehouse was built ages ago. It took the it took the roof a long time to oxidize, um, but you can see the way that the the roof works there. I basically mirrored the roof when adding on the uh, the access for the station right here, and you can see that it's it's the same style. You know, it's got the the waxed copper ribbing. And then it's got the uh, the normal copper that's just weathering and oxidizing as time goes by. So <clears throat> this is going to take a while to to look the way that it's supposed to, but it's making its progress. But this is not new already. This has been sitting around for probably over a month of in-game Minecraft days, like in-game days that have actually passed while this area has been loaded, and it is. It's not even close to being done oxidizing. So that gives you an idea of how long it's going to take for the uh, for the copper in the station down below to oxidize. The patina turquoise and polished granite, I think, are going to look so nice. I mean, 
We will see. We will see. What I do know is that I think that the uh, the patina down here, I because of the way that it's been positioned, you know. So it's like it's the brick in the wall, and then it's the granite in the ceiling. So there is no place where the granite and the brick actually directly meet each other, so they get an immediate like contrast to one one another. They're all separated by lots of copper, so it's going to look very different like like it's it's gonna it's gonna serve as like a major like pop and or contrast like it's it's it'll make it very it's it cuts it cuts between the two textures it cuts between the two textures there you go so okay well i i harvested up the tree farm um i've built the station I don't know that there's much of anything else for me to do, guys. Like, the only thing left that, like, what I've been doing is I will sit, I'll just AFK my character here and let thing, uh, let the trees grow and I'll come out and I'll chop them down and then AFK my character again while I'm, like, working on stuff. So. I've never seen someone do that with basalt columns, actually. That's really, really nice. Oh, if you think that's fancy, I can show you uh, another way to utilize the same thing. I have to empty my chests. I have to empty one of my shulker boxes, so we're going to go back to Midcrest. The space tunnel. What button was it? F1? Yeah, there we go. F1. Shut off my... Shut off the UI. And if I just angle it properly, I don't see the, uh, I don't see the cart in the shot at all. Look at that! Ooh, it's like I'm flying. Tev still hasn't come through this tunnel with her shaders. I'm I'm very curious what this looks like whenever you go through this tunnel with the shaders on. Which planet would you, uh, in the, our solar system, would you colonize to build an empire? Jeez. Depends on how, uh, how you consider it, you know? How sci-fi are we going in regards to this? If it ever oxidizes, copper takes, uh, takes forever to oxidize when next to each other. Let alone if the area isn't active chunks. Yes, exactly. Which is the reason why the roof took forever to oxidize. The roof is just an absurd amount of copper. So... Like, there's an entire, uh, there's an entire system of like, okay, well, you need to, you like, place the blocks out, you know, in this pattern, X distance away from each other in order to get everything to oxidize at a... as fast as possible, if that's what you want. Personally, I look at it and I'm like, eh, whatever. It'll oxidize whenever it oxidizes. As sci-fi as you want. Like, I did have this idea of, uh, you know, colonizing Uranus for mining. So, look out, everybody. I'm coming for Uranus. Here? Here? There we go. Yeah, 
Oh my god, it's full up. There's no more space for fish! The fish chest is full. Uh, do we have a deep slate chest? Yeah, we do. Go ahead and put these flowers away. Nothing like having some more alliums. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this ice out. This ice does not belong here. It belongs out at the Church of the End. So we are gonna hit the rails once more. Uh, I gotta come through and I gotta work on this main station here. The station house up top uh, is not matching the quality of the station down below. Church of the End. Here we go. The transition tunnel there needs some work. Why do you have so many fish? Mostly because the um, the traders keep showing up, you know? Like, the, uh, so, so much of what happens on this server is dependent on, like, AFK farming and whatnot, where it's like, yeah, I'll, uh, like, if it's not the tree farm where it's like, I'm just gonna stand still for a while, tab out and do something else, and then come back and, like, cut the trees down again. Like, a lot of stuff basically works on that paradigm on this server for uh, collecting materials up. So... The, the game will be open in the background, and all of a sudden, I'll start, I'll hear a trader start making noises, and I'm like, well, he's here, and I have a load of emeralds on me all the time, so let's just see what he has to sell. That's how I've found some rare things on this server that, in under many circumstances, I would not have had access to. Um, for instance, I would not have had access, most recently... Cherry saplings. Cherry trees are, like, I still haven't found a cherry biome on this server. <clears throat> so, I, uh, I found the saplings from a trader. And I, I am now capable of farming the saplings. Uh, I, I'm capable of farming, you know, cherry trees. So, um, to that end, it's like, okay, well, there, there's a, there's a selection of things here that I actually care about. Namely, things that... I don't want to go through the trouble of actually, like, collecting up the hard way. So, buckets of puffer fish and tropical fish are things that the the trader will sell. I'll always go for that. Um, and frankly, those are, like, the most important things that I want. Um, but there's also stuff like... Um, oh, there was a word for it. Uh, there's coral blocks... Like, it's, it's infinite. Wait, what is the Church of the End? This is the Church of the End. Why, my boy, this is the Church of the Holy End. Doomsday, I, I, I take it that you haven't watched the tour video. If you type in exclamation tour, you will get a, um, you will get a, a video that tours this entire server of... Most of the things that exist and have been per uh, built and the whole entire one, like the stories that I'm telling myself in regards to why anything is built on this server. And two, my life story of how this server intersects with just how I've lived, you know? Yeah, this is such an old server. And, like, it's not going anywhere. I'm not going to stop playing on this thing. I continue to work and build on this world for a long time. So. Oh. Damn. Sometimes, sometimes you mess up. Sometimes you mess up. All right, I'll sleep and I'll come back and I'll fix it in the morning.
Okay, now that that's done... God damn it. Okay, if I'm correct, this should be the only bucket that I really need to place. Or not. The problem with an ice farm is that sometimes this will happen, you know? Ugh. Nine times out of ten, this will not happen, but occasionally something freezes way too fast and this occurs, so... It's not pleasant when it happens, but it is a challenge of having an ice farm operating. It will just arbitrarily freeze over too fast and it will interrupt the, the process of replenishing all the water. An ice farm? Yeah, that's what it is. It's an ice farm. Wait for the entire pool to freeze over, use a silk touch pick to collect up all the ice, and then uh, hit the, uh, the trigger button, which dispenses water in a pattern so that the whole pool will refill, because, you know, infinite water mechanics. Uh, and then, uh, after it's refilled, which doesn't take long, press the button again, refill the buckets, and just wait for it to, uh, freeze over. So the Church of the End is like a cult? I, again, Doomsday, you, you'd need to watch the video. I, I don't want to explain it again here, so... Like, they're, they're, they're strange and interesting stories that I tell myself about what's going on on this server and, like, the, the canon and the lore behind this world, but I'm not, I'm not interested in explaining it at the moment. If you really want details, you know, the, the best explanation that you're gonna get, which may not even be satisfactory, I might add, is gonna be in that tour video that's linked in chat, so... Oh, look. The Purr Purr Farm is ready to go. Let's go ahead and collect up enough of the flowers. The what? So, um, this, uh, this, this, this location, the Church of the Holy End, it is directly involved with an extra-dimensional location called The End, and, um, what you do with The End is, um, it is composed of, uh, white stone called Endstone that kind of looks like cheese, as you see here, um, and it is also covered in strange, strange fruit called chorus, chorus fruit, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these and you'll see what happens to me. Oh, oh, it warped me. It warped me, not very far, basically to the other side of the fence here, but it warped me from eating it. So there are these trees that grow from uh, chorus flowers and they produce chorus fruit and this entire farm its purpose is to collect up the chorus fruit and then you can um, you can cook this fruit and then you can combine it all to create purple stone So you, you know, you run the entire farm and you get this stuff that I'm holding right now. And then I've got an entire smelting operation over here. And it produces popped chorus fruit, which then you can combine four of to create this stuff. Purple block. I wish they had done more with the fruit food-wise and potion-wise. 
You know, maybe they will at some point. You never know. Mojang is like, they're, they're less about like introducing brand new things these days than they are trying to look back and figure out how to make things in the game already have more utility, you know? Man, chat, what a week I had. Did I just accidentally? Yeah, I did. I accidentally removed the torch. All right. What I'm going to do, chat, is uh, I am... Well, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to... Uh, maybe it's time for me to stop. All right, I'm going to bounce. Have a good one. See y'all. Hey, uh, Jiggle Ham, it was nice to have you present and jiggle your ham for at least a little bit here. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope to see you again on Monday. If it was possible to automate the collection of these, uh, these, uh, chorus flowers, I would, but I, I have not yet found a way to do it. That, then again, I can't remember the last time that I went looking for whether or not somebody is engineer a method by which to farm these things, uh, more automatically, because this is probably one of the most tedious things that I do. Anyways, let's go ahead and fire this bad boy off. Water away! Beautiful. Let's grab anything that's spilled over the side here. Looking clean. Is it like resistant to explosions? No, but it's a whole lot more effective to farm multiple trees at once. Specifically, um... Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Let me let me plant these up first. The stem that these things grow on. This down here. If you break that, this doesn't this doesn't break as an object. It just vanishes. Okay. And what you want is up here. All right. So. There's really no good reason to utilize a TNT machine. Or are you talking about... Oh, you're talking about the Purper Stone, about its blast resistance. I, I didn't think of it that way. I gotta grab some more flowers. I'm constantly working to make certain that I have enough flowers. Flowers can be gotten by an arrow shot, I think. Yep, yep. Uh, if that, well, I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if that's possible. I've never looked into it. But basically, the best way to do it uh, that I have found is that you build it this way, specifically having the space above where you're planting. And that results in the tree not being able to grow up further because it will not grow directly through that hole. 
And that means that it has this opportunity to grow off to the side and give you multiple flowers. Now, because it is incapable of... It has to... It can grow over once, and then it has to grow up. If the tree grows over once, it cannot... It can only grow over once. It cannot grow over, uh, grow over to the side twice. So... I'm gonna stop that music. <clears throat> so these, these chorus trees, they can only grow over to the side once. They can't go over twice. Uh, they can go up, 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 up as much as they want, and then they can grow over to the side once, and then up some more. So they can they can potentially like really, really go far off to the side because they can go to the side, up, up, you know, to the side, and then go up and then side again. Basically, they can't go to the side twice in a row. So that's what results in the weird shape of the chorus trees. Um, so the idea is make it so it can't grow directly upward, and then. Once it grows to the side, make certain that it can't grow up. And that results in the flowers always being ready to use because it's possible for these things to basically be like solid purple and then they will not... Uh, you can't plant them whenever they're solid purple. They have to have these white marks on the side. So this is, what res uh, this is the way that you run the farm and you come through and you just break them to get the flower. Then once that's done, smash out the stem, and you plant it again. And that's how you get additional flowers to just continuously farm. That's the entire idea. So this is, as far as I can tell, the most efficient way to do this. Um, and then you just use a typical water washout system to break the trees, because the stems will drop this chorus fruit, okay? This fruit is just dropped straight from the stems. At, uh, at, the bo at the base of the tree and everything. So, ultimately, we're after the fruit all the time. But, um... Like, you've gotta... You have, you're constantly after the flowers to have enough of them to continue to farm. That's where a big part of the, the challenge comes in. Investing uh, in those is such a pain... Yes, it is an enormous pain. It is not easy to do, which is the reason why I don't have a significant quantity of them. And uh, also, good morning, Tev. Welcome to the land of the living. I was wondering where the washed out fruit, fruit was. Investing. My God, dude. What? Oh, harvesting. My mistake. My mistake. I misread that. But it is true. You you do kind of have to invest to do to, to get yourself this stuff. But yeah, the the way that this is designed is that there's a bunch of dispensers out uh, along the back wall. It spits out water. The water has been very specifically designed here to prevent it from melting. Uh, I've put a bunch of glowstone along the back. The glowstone ensures that the water doesn't uh, freeze since we're in a cold biome. And then we've got a water channel here that's constantly flowing this way. It hits a water elevator. It uh, All of the product rides up and uh, ends up depositing into this barrel. So it's a collection system. It's not a sophisticated collection system, but it works quite well. And then I take this. And I venture over here. And there's not a lot of supply for, um, like, uh, schmeltables. Uh, I have, I have a supply of, um, coal to do a bunch of smelting here, but it's not the best, if you will. So there's there's a limited amount of coal left sitting around here, and I'm I'm obviously not looking to like dig new mines around here. So my solution for managing the supply here, or uh, the fuel to continue smelting and getting this popped chorus fruit to craft the blocks, uh, I built this over to the side. This is a lava farm. Okay, you can you can uh, collect infinite lava in Minecraft these days. This. Uh, this cauldron is empty currently. So, a little bit of dripstone, and you can get infinite lava. I was just typing, why does it not melt? Yeah, so, basically, if you, um, if you put a light source 
right next to water, it is guaranteed to not melt. Um, that's part of the reason why this pool back here is, is covered in snow on all sides. I would prefer this to be more lit up so that things don't, um, so that things don't freeze up so bad. Oh my God. Is that, oh man. All right. I'm going to have to do this. Going to have to do this. Uh, let me, nope, that's the wrong chest. Whoops. Here we go. I thought I had fixed it, but evidently not. What the fuck? Mm. You get one bad uh, moment with, uh, with the system and it just continues to haunt. So like, as you can see, this is freezing over. Flowing water for that matter, flowing water will not freeze. That's another detail. Um, as you can see, I've got like kind of a little hot tub thing going here. This is my, this is my permanent infinite supply of water uh, for the area. And it is, it is surrounded by a ton of torches. This water will never freeze because it's next to torches. So, from the wiki, they drop themselves when broken by explosions. With the applicable drop, with the applicable drop chance for the various explosion types, or when hit by a wide variety of projectiles and list most projectiles in the game. There, there you go. Like, it's possible to, to, like, there are different methods for farming. I think that this is the most reasonably efficient method it's not necessarily the fastest way probably they're pro like i if i could fully automate the collection of these flowers i would but thus far i've i haven't found anything you can't collect these flowers with pistons i've learned that the hard way so you have to break those flowers with your hands in order for it to work all right with that done um I didn't come here to actually hang out. I came here to deposit things and leave. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to leave. I'm certain that's possible. Well, I seem to recall looking for a guide on how to automate it recently. And it was it was still like nothing but modded stuff for how to for how to um, automatic uh, for how to automate the farming of the uh, the ender uh, the chorus flowers. Which leads me to believe that it's not possible to auto-farm it. Hello, Zouchin. How you doing? Man, oh man. Well, chat, you have been absolutely filthy freaks today. Did you know that? Utterly filthy. Which is the way I like you. What mod pack are you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Lord. Salinator. Salinator. Are you, are you, are you, are you make, Salinator, are you making a callback to, to, to the old, uh, to the old joke? Or, uh, are, or are you legitimately asking that question? I need to know, I need to know this. <laughs> Because there, there is a, there is a callback joke, and it, it's I can't tell when people are doing the callback or not. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit some things here. I'm surprised it wasn't about the texture pack. <laughs> a good joke. Oh God. Yeah, sure. I suppose it's a good joke. I suppose. The last series I watched of yours was the Yogg's cast with their mod pack. Oh, man. Lord Salinator, you're in for a treat. You're in for an absolute treat. There have been three entire self-contained Minecraft series that have been story-driven. 
that you can watch right now. Like, they are ready to go. They have been done and reported for ages. There's uh, solutions in order. Solutions and... Solutions in order, crossroads, and rebuilding solutions. In that order, in that specific order. Here, you know what? I'll type that out. Let's, uh, this is the right way, isn't it? Yeah, that's Sideshow. And if you want, if you really want to go back, there's also, um, Twin Towns. There's the Twin Town series. Wait, Solutions in Order, the modded series is the first? Solutions in Order, the modded series is the first in the canon? It's not the first in the canon, strictly speaking. If you really want to go back to it, Strife Solutions. Or, well, no. Solutions in Chaos was the beginning of it. Solutions in Chaos was the start of the canonical story. Um, and it was a whole lot more loose back then. But I did Solutions in Chaos. And then it was Strife Solutions, which is the one that uh, Lord Salinator watched. Um, followed by... Solutions, uh, followed by Twin Towns, then it's, uh, it's, yeah, there you go. Solutions in Chaos, Strife Solutions, Solutions in Order, Crossroads, Rebuilding Solutions. There's one extra in there uh, between Strife Solutions and Solutions in Order, it's called Twin Towns. Solutions and Chaos and Strife Solutions were the two that I watched years ago. Yes, yes. Blood and Chaos? Blood and Chaos I consider a uh, a side project, but more, most importantly out of all of that is the fact that you can't watch Blood and Chaos anymore. It's been deleted. It's no longer on the internet, okay? Which is a sad thing to say, but um, my understanding from the community is that uh, that, was a, that was a series that Parvis did, and I believe that, uh, according to the community, Parvis uh, removed it from his channel. Because he, he, he chose to repurpose his channel for other things. So, wait, where was Twin Towns in? I'm trying to write it down. Okay, let me do this. Uh, channel needs a detailed guide on the YouTube about, uh, YouTube about page. Yeah, I should, I should probably do something to help organize the entirety of the series. I've done my best to try and keep most of what happens between those series, like, uh, straight and canonically, uh, accurate between them like I, I i don't want to be one of those writers who's like oh well i mean every story makes sense within itself but then whenever you try to put them together they stop making sense i hate that like i personally really really hate that i want the the stuff that i write to make sense between 
every different project. Um, uh, so like I have I have documents where it's like okay well these are things that are true, um, and I have to keep them in mind whenever I'm doing my writing like all sorts of facts. Many of those facts you guys don't even know about because it's like well yeah it's true but like the the audience doesn't need to know this information type of situation. So okay, I'm gonna go ahead and park myself in the corner here and I am gonna just. Actually, you know what? I don't have to park myself in the corner. You know what? Before before I go, before I go, we will actually take one more look at the station. Because this is what I built today. This is what I did. This this was just basically a hole in the ground. Uh, it was completely just barren with, you know, like, stone and, like, veins of diorite and andesite and granite. And now, it's finished. The station is finished. It just has to oxidize, and it'll look great. There was a wiki people were working on a few years ago. Maybe I can find it again. Also, will there be another series to add to the list at some point, please? Yes, yes. There is intention. There is plan. There is intention. It's just a matter of doing it. Ugh, for that matter. Ugh. Mm. All right, I'll just go ahead and log out here. I'll move you guys back a little bit. It's it's time for me to stop. I gotta, I gotta, excuse me. I gotta get some lunch. I also have to visit the bathroom and stuff, so... In addition to this, um, there is a there is there is supposed to be a plan in place to do an interactive bit of storytelling on the Patreon server at some point. Um, I have spent uh, Tev and I have spent some time writing the story for that and how it's supposed to be like okay, well this is how people are going to get involved and learn the backstory and the intention the intention behind this is that okay this is the server you're going to show up on the server you're going to play on the server but there's supposed to be a story going on this server and even if you do not partake of it um it will the story of it will eventually be condensed down into a video of some type so It's all fan run, so it only gets updated every so often. Exactly. The idea in general, the broad stroke concept is that this is the story, but these things, these developments that happen can only take place if, if people, um, <clears throat> these developments can only take place once the community has hit particular goals on the server. That's the idea behind it. You you show uh, you are a member of the Patreon. You're a Patreon member. You gain access to the server. You can play Minecraft. These are the goals that are set forth as you being a player on the server. And then uh, once those goals by uh, that patrons hit by playing Minecraft, once the uh, once the players hit the goals on the server by doing uh, uh, various tasks. Um, what kind of goals they would be based on what needs to happen within the story. Okay. That's the whole idea. It would mostly be tied to, you know, like collecting objects as it were. So it's like, okay, well now, now we need, you know, X amount of this. So it would basically I encourage people to just go out and play the game, you know, just go out and play the game. So <clears throat> you, it, it would be like, okay, do these tasks and then, you know, once that task has been completed, then 10,000 cherry wood, for example. That would be an example with just a random number pulled out of the air, okay? That's the whole concept. So it's like, okay, well, for the next story development, you guys got to do this. Once you do that, something happens on the server and the story progresses. And it is shot and meant to be like a video however long i don't know how long for all i know it could be like a situation where okay well like here's a here's a 10 minute up like a five or a 10 minute update for what needs to happen on the server next and then at the end of it all i don't know how many updates there would have been once you hit the end of the story it would all be like strung together as one cohesive uh video that would be published so for archival purposes, we're like, no, this is what this is. This is the ultimate total story that happened if you did not partake of it. So.
are we talking about a strife verse? Strictly speaking, yes. I mean, it's it's the larger it's the larger story. There would be very particular and specific intention behind getting it to getting it to go. So. Nerd. Ah. Yeah, I'm the I'm the type of nerd that you aspire to be, Kato. I see you there. I see you. All right, chat, listen. <laughs> I got to I got to quit. If you um Kato versus crossover, you don't even play Minecraft. <laughs> All right, listen. I have got to stop. I got to get myself uh some lunch and uh take care of the necessities and everything. Um, you guys take care of yourselves. And if you're lucky, you'll see me again this evening, maybe for seven days. I don't know. It depends on whether or not, uh, Tev and Momo would be down for another horde night. We're, we're due for our third horde night in the wasteland only, uh, gameplay. And I don't know when we're going to get back to that. It depends on how much energy everybody has. Um, in any case, You've been a wonderful and a lovely, lovely audience, everybody. I hope to see you at 11 a.m. U.S. Central Time for your regular for your regularly scheduled stream um, because that's the next time you will see me for certain. And if you're really lucky, you'll see me sometime over the weekend, maybe tonight, maybe Sunday, who knows. In any case, take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay filthy, and thank you for the support today. Catch you later.